Hey, hey, how in the world is everybody? Happy Saturday. That's right, we made it to the weekend. Anyways, how is everybody? In case you were just like, OMG, who just fell into my news feed? Hi, it's me. <laughs> my name is Amanda Pope, and I am your Scentsy Gal. So let's take a hot minute to invite some friends and make this a real party. <laughs> Go from there. So hello, hello. Like I said, I am Amanda Pope. I am your Scentsy Girl. And today, today, we're going to talk all about, uh, we're going to talk about oils, okay? We're going to talk about oils because I don't know if you knew, but uh, Scentsy carries oils to put in our diffusers, okay? Um, so we're just going to spread the love of this out to all our friends because guess what? We want all of our friends to come check this out, do we not? Yes, we do. So we're just going to put my website down below. That way, if you have any questions whatsoever, you can either go window shopping on the site or all the things, okay? All the things, whatever you want it to be. Saturday is yours to explore and to do and to have fun with whatever it is, okay? So now that we got all that, we're going to invite an odd friend or two because you know what? The more the merrier, am I right? <clears throat> so let's invite a few friends and go from there. Uh, I'm going to invite one of my friends, even though I also know that she's camping, but hey, sometimes you just don't want to miss out on the good stuff. So anyways, let's talk about all the different oils and all the good stuff. So just in case you didn't know, and for those of you who really like, uh, where's all my oily mamas at, Kate, for those of you that have either experience with oils, or perhaps you were like me and you don't know that much about it, but you're super curious about it, okay? So I want to first off show you um, that we can carry two different kinds of diffusers, okay? And what I do want to also let you know about our particular oils, our particular uh, Scentsy oils, they are only used for diffusing, okay? So they are not, our oils are, are designed specifically not to be used uh, topically. Um, that's a different kind of oil, but those are not the kind of oils we carry. So they're not to be used topically. Um, they're just to be used to diffuse for a scent, to create that atmosphere, that aura, that whatever you're looking for. Um, so um, if you don't have one of our Scentsy diffusers, come check it out, okay? So we have two different price points on the diffusers. We have one of your everyday kind of deluxe diffusers, okay? It's perfect if you are somebody with a busy household. Um, it's got a 450 milliliter uh, reservoir for up to, okay, are you listening? Up to 35 hours of continuous fragrance, okay? Now that is based on when you have it on the set on the low mode, okay? Um, and it also has uh, up to eight different light modes, okay? So if you were looking for something a little more like every day, you just want something that does the job, okay, this is the perfect one. If you are a mom on a budget, hello, like me, this is kind of like the perfect size, it's perfect. It's kind of like perfect for wherever. Now, if you're somebody who likes a statement piece, you want that thing to be loud, you want that thing to be proud, you want it to be whatever you want it to be, or perhaps you're just into the more, more art type deco, you want something that is like your statement piece, then this is where our, um, our whatever you call it here, this is where our premium diffusers come in handy, okay? So we have the two different types, okay? Um, you can get different shades for these, but let's talk specifically about uh, the Scentsy oils, okay? So like I said, they are for diffusing for the scent, not to be used topically, okay? So that's important to know. Um, we wanna give you this like, you know, this multi-sensory experience. I don't know about you, but I think that's great. That's awesome, okay? So one thing I want you to know is with Scentsy oils, we have natural oil blends and we have essential oils, okay? So basically the natural oil blends are naturally derived ingredients, okay? Because that's important to know. And what they're meant to do is they're meant to um, create this real amazing fragrance experience because who doesn't want to feel like they're going back in relaxation times the times possibly before kids I don't know whatever whatever it is for you okay <clears throat> and it's supposed to be something that is you know specifically too sensey um, now there's also something called essential oils. I'm sure a lot of us have heard of essential oils, whether we, um, know it from that perspective or not. Okay. This is something to know. Um, so essential oils are harvested from the most aromatic, okay. The most bang for your buck type scent, um, botanicals. And that's going to help you to deliver that clean single noted fragrance. Okay. The one that's going to be like, boom, boom, pow. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Okay. Um, the nice part is you can actually combine 
natural oil blends as well as um, essential oil blends to create your own custom blend, which is awesome, okay? Um, I'm a girl that, like, I like to mix things together, but sometimes I like things just on their own. See? We got the city excited that, whoa, <laughs> we're talking about oils today. <clears throat> So like I said, there's different types of diffusers that you can get. These are our premium diffusers, okay? So they cost a little more, but they are gorgeous. They make a real statement to piece to anything. But more than anything, I want to talk to you about... Hello, Marion. How are you, girl? More than anything, I want to talk to you guys about all the different uh, scent categories. So we have four different scent categories. And the first one I want to balance on is the balancing category, okay? So... If you were looking something to make you feel more balanced within your house, if you were looking for something that's going to help you find your center, okay, that's going to help you feel centered, uh, but that's also going to feel rejuvenated, then there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there is eight different um, oils that are going to help if you are looking for balancing in your life. Because guess what? Balancing is not always as easy as it's cracked up to be, okay? So the first one we have is called Blackberry Basil or Basil however you say it okay um so if you're somebody that a likes blackberry okay this is going to be a gorgeous scent because blackberry basil is going to give you that beautiful balance between that hint of sweet basil and that touch of vanilla so you're going to have a little bit of this like um you know, more zen calm with that little bit of spice. Um, so this is a perfect one. Like I said, if you're just looking for your centering, maybe you like a little bit of that more earthiness to your things. This is a great one for that. Um, then you have something called Cactus Pear. This is a brand new scent to this specific catalog. Okay, so if you are somebody that likes this description. So Cactus Pear is described as just pick pear and apple blossom balance a low key hint of cactus. I have a feeling that this is going to be like one of my top picks. Um, I'm somebody, especially this time of year, I don't know about you, but like when it gets to be this time of year, getting closer to September, um, I start to think about like pear, apple, you know, those kind of things that naturally when somebody says, okay, pick something that sounds fallish, boom, that's right away what I go to. Um, so it's got this gorgeous hint, like I said, of apple blossom. It's got that pear. So it's got that little bit of epic fruitiness with that hint of cactus, which I think will bring in some real freshness. Okay. Um, then you go into what we call cedarwood pine. Okay. So cedarwood pine is described as explore a wooded wonderland filled with cedarwood pine and fresh fir balsam. So if you are like me that loves the smell of tree-ish, tree-y. Yeah, I know we're making up words here. It's okay. We do this all the time. Okay. Um, if you just like that, like I feel like I'm out in the wilderness kind of sense, this one's a perfect one. Um, I don't know about you, but like specifically, like you won't find me all that outside in the winter just because I'm kind of like a bit of a baby when it comes to the cold. But if I think of like a day where it's cool and crisp out and all you just smell is like earth, do you get what I mean? Like, but like a fresh, like a fresh rejuvenated, like, mm, like a brisk day through a forest type of day. Um, for those of you that like eucalyptus, we also have a eucalyptus 100% pure essential oil. So if those of you that love um, eucalyptus, this is known for its green herbal qualities. Okay, good to know. Um, it's a nice bold oil. So if you want something that's like, mm, I have arrived, that's the kind of scent you want. It's going to give you this gorgeous um, cleansing fragrance. And I don't know about you, but I find eucalyptus, it, yeah, it does make you feel like, okay, I can do this. I can own my day. Um, then you go into one of my next ones that sounds really enticing called ginger tea and lime. Uh, so ginger tea and lime is considered and described as just brewed ginger tea finds balance in a lime zest, uh, twist and hints of fruity floral ylang ylang so ginger tea and lime doesn't that sound just relaxing it makes me sound like just give mom 10 minutes alone by herself and we can find our center again <laughs> pardon me uh, next we go into, sorry, I'm just warming a new scent today. Um, next we go into peppermint, 100% pure essential oil. Okay. So if you like cooling peppermint, but you also want to, um, kind of give something extra to the room, what I would do is, and this is how they describe it as uplifting, cooling peppermint infuses a room with clarifying freshness. So if you want something, peppermint is really known to um, help you to kind of 
gain your breath again. Okay. Kind of gain your breath again. For me, it's just like a super fresh scent, super fresh scent that is kind of cleansing. And you're like, ah, you know what I mean? So if you like peppermint, that's going to do it for you. It's going to clear your nostrils out like no tomorrow. Um, and then the last one we have under this is called sea salt and lotus. Okay. So sea salt and lotus, um, is known for balancing lotus and fragrant eucalyptus stay under a fresh pinch of sea salt. So if that's your thing, then this is going to be, um, one of your favorite things. <clears throat> Um, now, what? Well, so those are all the ones that are known as the uh, balancing category, okay? So if any of that um, sounds like something that you think is cool, then I think this is going to be the perfect one for you, okay? Um, like I said, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight different scents just within the balancing category. And like I said, you can mix these together. You can um, mix them both to, in the same category together, whatever floats your boat, okay? So next we walk into what I consider the uh, comforting category, okay? So the next bunch of scents, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven scents in the comforting category, okay? So when we're talking about comforting oils, we're talking about oils that feel like you feel warm, you feel good. Um, it feels familiar to you because do you know how like have you ever walked into a situation where you're like you don't know anything you don't know what's going to happen next and you're just like eh, I don't know about this okay so comforting oils are going to be they're going to be warm they're going to feel familiar to you um, they're going to feel like dang this is just a nice warm hug walking into my house after a long hard day okay um, so, and I should mention that if you are looking for any of these oils, you will find them under the, uh, on my website, underneath the shop category, and then you will go click diffusers and oils. Um, you can look them up by the different, um, groupings. Hello, Alicia, how's camping going? Um, uh, you can find them under the different categories or, um, you can go into each category. Okay. It'll show you the diffusers. It's going to show you the balancing, calming, comforting, and uplifting, or you can check out all the oils all at once, whatever floats your boat. <coughs> So anyways, we have the comforting category. Um, let's see here. You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to be an interesting gal and I am going to, let's see here. I am warming a new scent and I'm just not quite sure about it yet. So I'm going to, you know what? I think I'm going to mix these two. I'm going to be naughty. <laughs> so I'm going to mix this churro churro bar with my um, warmer, not warmer, scent of the month. I think I'm going to balance it out. So if ever you have a Scentsy bar that you're like, I don't know, this seems pretty strong to me, um, then mix it with something that's kind of got a creaminess to it. Um, so in this case, I'm taking my September uh, scent of the month called Ghostly Greetings, and I am mixing it in with Churro Churro. So I think if anything you have sometimes seems a bit like, whoa, like this is strong, take something like vanilla, take something like the one where I'm going to do, I'm putting a bit of a bakery scent, and it's going to help to mellow it out. So I'm going to see, I'm going to mix, I'm going to be a, a wax mixologist. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the comforting category, okay? So comforting oils, like I said, they're going to feel warm. They're going to familiar, be familiar or feel familiar. And um, they might just float your boat. So underneath the comforting category of oils, the first one we have is Awesome Apple. I know, isn't that a fun name? Awesome Apple. Awesome Apple. Uh, so Awesome Apple is described as a golden honey crisp apple sprinkled with sugar cane and fresh ground, ground cinnamon. That smells like somebody's put in a pie in the oven and I am just going to reap all the benefits out of it without all the calories on my hips <laughs> or everywhere else. So how fun is that? Um, so that is called awesome apple. To me, that smells like fall in a jar. It does. It smells like fall in a jar. Um, good thing to know too about these. Okay. So it, this one is considered a natural oil blend. Okay. Um, so it is naturally derived ingredients that are in it, uh, blended into this gorgeous premium fragrance. Okay. Um, what was I going to say? Um, I wasn't sure what it would say on there. So these come in a 0.5 fluid ounce. Okay. They come in a 15 mil. Oh, and it was right here in front of me. Go figure. Go figure. Don't you hate that? Um, next we go into something that sounds equally as enticing for fall called cardamom and vanilla. Okay. So if you love cardamom, 
this is going to be a great pick for you. Um, it's going to be cardamom, spicy notes of cardamom and cinnamon mellow out over a, a smooth vanilla base. So it's kind of be, going to be creamy. It's going to be a little bit spicy. And then it's just going to have that little hint to something that's like, yeah, this is fall time in a jar. <laughs> this is what I think, okay? Um, I have not used many of their oils. It's been a few years since I've used their oils, but the ones that I have used in the past, I've really enjoyed. Um, but like I said, what my nose loves, your nose might not love, and that's perfectly okay. <clears throat> uh, next we have Cinnamon Cherry Vanilla, okay? So this next one is considered and described as Cherry and cinnamon sweeten up rich buttery notes. This sounds like happiness to me, okay? So cherry, cinnamon, buttery notes. So it's going to be kind of like that boom of spice. It's, I think it's going to have kind of like that undertone of sweetness from the cherry. And then I think the buttery notes are probably just going to kind of make it into like this creamy, delicious, enticing, like, hey, how you doing type of scent. <laughs> this is what I'm envisioning, okay? I have never smelled this one, but it sounds super enticing. Next, we have probably one of my other favorite next. Who else is a coconut lover like me? Me, 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 double me. <laughs> okay, we sing a dance around here. Don't mind this. This is all the fun, crazy. Guess what? I'm a mom. I'm a wife. And this is what I like to do for fun. So uh, I wanted to share it with all of you because all of you are my network. And it's a great place for us to hang. It's a safe space for us to hang. Um, and it's just a positive place to hang. Uh, okay, so coconut sugar is described as coconut sugar, Creamy vanilla with a swirl of Bing Cherry. That sounds like a happy yes, please <laughs> to me. It sounds like something I need to put down on my um, list of, of, of wishes. Uh, next one we have is called Marshmallow Buttercream. Um, hi, how you doing? That sounds like happiness. <laughs> that sounds like every kid's dream. Uh, cloud nine calls from layers of marshmallow fluff, whipped buttercream, and cozy vanilla. That sounds like every bit of where have you been all my life and why are you not in my diffuser? I tell you, this is nice part too, is that they literally have a scent for everybody. Uh, next one is called Rosewood Vanilla. Okay, so tranquil earthy notes of rosewood and cedar are sweetened by vanilla and a warm sprinkle of cinnamon. So if you're somebody who likes that bit of rosewood, okay, you like the earthiness and you're also going to get that cedar smell. I don't know about you, but I love the smell of cedar. And then you're also going to have that vanilla, which is going to kind of bring in that softness to it all with that warm sprinkle of cinnamon, which is going to kind of throw that little bit of warmth in there to give it some depth. Um, and then the last one under the comforting category is called vetiver and sandalwood. Okay. Um, so if you like something that is con um, consisting of sandalwood, vetiver and amber, then this is going to be the scent for you. Okay. So I know a lot of people love sandalwood. A lot of people, you know, it really depends what you like. What are you looking for out of your oil? Are you looking for something that is more uh, fruity because they have those options? Are you looking for something that's a little more fresh because they have those options? Are you looking for something that's like more like forest ish? Cause you know, they have those kind of earth type scents too. So next we go into the next category and the next category is the calming category. Okay. So calming categories are great. Um, um, for households period. Uh, but they're also really great when maybe you've had a long, hard day. Okay. So the calming category is consists of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different oils. Okay. So the calming category is going to help you to exhale the day. Okay. Exhale the stress. It's going to help take some well-deserved downtime for you after you've had a busy day. Cause guess what? It happens, right? There's some days where you're just like, Oh my gosh, I felt like I didn't stop all day. Yeah. It happens to all of us. Um, so like I said, there are seven different scents and what I will let you know is for the most part, uh, most of the, um, most of the scents are roughly around the same price, but there are some that change price a little bit too, depending on um, what's in them and what kind of scent it is. But for the most part, they're all fairly close in price. Okay, um, so the first one we have is called chamomile violet. So if you like a little bit of floral, but you like you like the sound of chamomile, because I don't know about you, but I love chamomile tea. I drink tea more when I'm sick than anything. That's just me. I'm more of a coffee drinker. <laughs> so if they had coffee in one of these, I'd be like, uh, hi, where do I sign up for that? Um, so then you have chamomile violet. So this one is described as chamomile eases into aromatic tea, li uh, tea, tea lives. 
tea lives. Every so often I drop out an accent that I have no clue where it comes from. Anybody else have that happen? Like it's, I'm just too ahead of myself. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. <laughs> so chamomile eases into aromatic tea leaves and delicate violet. So literally it is like it's described. It's got that gorgeous hint of tea smell and that gorgeous bit of floral and the two just kind of balance each other out. <clears throat> Uh, next, we have jasmine white tea. Okay, so this one is considered long revered for its romantic leanings. Jasmine sets a sensual mood, while lemongrass, mandarin, and bergamot softly brighten the edges. So lemongrass is a really nice scent. Uh, mandarin brings that fruitiness in there. But then you have that bergamot that kind of evens it out and adds that extra je ne sais quoi to it. Okay. Um, next, you have lavender, which is 100% essential oil in this particular instance. Um, it is considered and described as classic Lavendula Anglophistiola. Whoa, that was a mouthful. Is known for its exquisite perfume, okay? The essence of calm and relaxation is it is equally floral, sweet, and herbaceous. So it sounds like something that if you like calm, if you like floral, and if you like something that's sweet with that bit of like herbiness to it, this one would be a really great one for you. And if you can say that big long name that I just gave out, I guess that's the like exact plant name. That is a mouthful, but we made it. So high five. And then we have the next one, um, which is called Lemon Lavender Rain. How exactly calming does that sound? To me, that sounds like, hi, like, why aren't you diffusing at my house? <laughs> so this next one is called Lemon Lavender Rain. Uh, so Lemon Lavender Rain is considered lemon and lavender splashed with fresh dew drops, okay? So literally you have that lavender that's going to bring in your bit of floral. You have the lemon, which is going to add that citrus-like pop. And then you're going to have fresh dew drops, which is going to bring like that freshness. Um, so I have a feeling it's going to be like kind of like spa-like. Because when I think of lavender and I think of fresh dew drops, I think of like the freshness after a rain. That's what it makes me think of. Next, we have one called Rose Water Lavender. I don't know how many of you have used ro rose water. Um, I personally have used rose water on my face. It is perfect for sunburn season. It takes the owie factor away. Um, it takes the redness away. I love rose water. Um, I have not smelt this scent, but I do have experience with the rose water, just not in a an oil. Uh, but it says, immerse yourself in rose water accented by soothing lavender and a soft swirl of vanilla. Um, so rose water, for the most part, my experience with rose water, um, yes, it smells kind of like a bed of roses, but it's a really nice, serene way to, um, to just smell that kind of rose scent. Um, then you have lavender, which of course, lavender has its own scent. I love lavender in the spring. It's just, it smells to me, it's like a... A scent that I um, associate with spring. Uh, and then you have that swirl of vanilla that's going to bring, bring a creaminess um, that, like I said, is also going to help to tone down anything that's like, whoa. <laughs> okay, when in doubt, do like I did with my warmer if you find something too strong. Um, and I'm sure you could do that with your oils too. If you find something that's like, whoa, this is a lot, okay, because a little goes a long way, especially with your oils. Um, Add something that's got like a creamy vanilla-ish or something that's kind of got like a creamy undertone and it will subdue that, like that whoosh, like in your face type scent. Um, then you go into something called Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. No, I'm just kidding. It's called Twinkle Twinkle. Okay. Uh, Twinkle Twinkle is described as let chamomile, eucalyptus, and lavender soothe them to sleep. So Twinkle Twinkle sounds like it would be a perfect one. For any adult that can't sleep, a perfect one to calm and relax yourself at the end of the day. But Twinkle Twinkle also sounds like something that is perfect for your kitties when they just need to zen down. Because I know my kid is such a night owl. It's not even crazy. And then we have the next one here, the last one of the calming category. And that one is called White Lavender Mint. Um, so this one is described as calming white lavender frolics with fresh garden mint and a whiff of soft ember woods. So you have that lavender and then you have that bit of mintiness that's going to bring in that herbaceousness. And then you have that ember woods that so might bring in, I don't know, I think of ember woods like, I don't know, like slightly more nature, you know, derived possibly. Like I said, I haven't smelt the scent, but this is what it makes me think of. <laughs> 
So next we go into the last category, okay? So the last category um, is called uplifting, okay? Because, hello, we all want to wake up and be like, dang, wake me up before you go, go. That's right. We all want to feel like a little bit like, mm, I got today, okay? If you do not wake up thinking, I got today, girlfriend, I want you to go look at yourself for, you know, two minutes in the mirror and tell yourself today, I am beautiful. I am gorgeous. I am everything that I say I'm going to be today. Okay. Give yourself a few minutes of uplifting self-talk to yourself. Does it, you know, you might think it looks ridiculous, but guess what? When you go out like that, okay, you are going to be setting the tone in your brain for the day. And I think everybody needs to know that you are amazing and fabulous. And, you know, it's important that you talk nicely to yourself. Okay. So let's go into the uplifting category where we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I think we have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, I lied. We have seven cents. Okay. So the last category that we have with our, um, with our oils is the uplifting category of oils. Okay, so the uplifting category of oils is going to be anything that you want to brighten up your day and put some spring step in your step, okay? So anything where you're going to be like, I got today, look at me. Mm, I feel good. Do, 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 do. That's right. This is the category of oils that's going to be like, dang, and I feel good. Do, do. Do -do. I don't know about you guys, but I am like the biggest Michael Bublé fan ever. Like, mm, don't even get me started on that one. That one can read me the phone book and I'd be like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> so like I said, we have the uplifting category. Okay, so the uplifting category is going to help you brighten up your day. It's going to set the tone for your day and it's going to put some spring step in your step. Okay, so the first one here is called Citrus and Verbena. Now what I will tell you about this one is that it is a natural oil blend. Uh, currently right now it is so popular it's breaking the internet and it's currently out of stock unfortunately but yet again someday it's going to come back and I will keep you in the know if this is a scent that you are curious about um, so if you are somebody that is big on uplifting notes of orange and verbena okay orange and verbena oh my gosh mm, it's like everything I love things that are citrusy bring some sunshine to fields of dewy grass so it's going to give you that feeling of sunshine on your face in the morning, it's going to give you that orange to give you that citrus pop. And then it's also going to give you that dewy grass to bring some freshness. This sounds like happiness in a bottle. And I can tell you, I can, I can tell you exactly why I think that this one has, is out of stock because it just sounds that down good. Next one we have is called grapefruit blood orange. Okay. So paradise has been found. Mm, did you hear me? Paradise has been found. Okay, so if you are somebody that loves tropical zesty lime, pink grapefruit, and blood orange, this is called fruitiness in a bottle. This is called a happy bottle of oil <laughs> in a bottle. So if you love everything that is to be citrusy, that is going to be the one for you. Uh, next, we have lemon 100% uh, pure essential oil. Um, this one is considered crisp, rejuvenating citrus limon. Oh, getting, we're getting all French up in here. Keeps your senses sharp. Okay, so if you are, you want the, the pièce de résistance of all lemon, if you are the citrus lover of a lifetime, this is going to be happiness of lemon bottleness in, in a bottle. Okay, so if this is like the pièce de résistance for you and you are the lemon lover, this is going to be 100% your favorite. Uh, next, we get into another one. Okay, we're getting into lemon again. The next one is called Lotso Lemon. Okay, so the next one is described as lemon and lime mingle with bergamot for an invigorating blend. So the difference between the lemon 100% pure essential oil is that one is pure lemon, like lemon, like you never lemoned before. Lotso Lemon is lemon and lime, okay? with that hint of bergamot for that invigorating blend with that little bit of like it's lemon with that little bit of jab jab punch like it's gonna surprise you but I think that sounds delicious uh next one now that we have also is called ocean mist and aloe um so this next one is considered bright notes of orange and aloe ride a tide of ocean mist so if you like something that is more spa like you want something that's more spa like um uh, more fresh like but then you want that aloe which brings in kind of like that 
that freshness again, which would make me think of spa. Uh, but then it brings in the orange. So it keeps you kind of guessing it's like citrus fresh. You know, it sounds really intriguing, actually. Um, then we're going to the second last scent, which is called Red Current Raspberry. Red Current Raspberry is described as a touch of star anise, okay, or a little tangy. So if you like that little bit of licorice-y kind of scent, um, a little fruity and all bliss. So if you like that kind of like sucker punch of um, raspberry with that red currant undertone with that little bit of splash of um Star Anise reminds me kind of like of licorice or black licorice. Um, it's a great way to kind of get that like complexity, that little bit of spicy undertone with that little bit of tart. And then the last one here that we have that might intrigue you under the uplifting category is called Sea Salt and Grapefruit. Okay, so Sea Salt and Grapefruit um, is described as pink sea salt tops lively lemon and grapefruit for an invigorating uh, twist. Jeez, that we almost botched that one. There we go. There's one for the blooper reel. <laughs> and on a classic citrus scent. So we'll try that one again. Pink sea salt tops lively lemon and grapefruit for an invigorating twist on a classic citrus scent. So that, my friends, is everything that has to do with our oils, okay? So like I said, we have the balancing category. We have the comforting category. We have the calming category. And we have the uplifting category um, of the oils, the the basis of it is you get to set the mood that you want in your home. You get to set the mood for what you want that morning for it to diffuse, or you get to set the mood for what you want it to be in the evening time when you get home from work, whatever it might be. Um, perhaps, you know, due to the pandemic currently, per maybe both of you are working from home. The kids are driving you crazy. Guess what? At the end of the day, you might want a splish splash of calming, you know, and a whole lot of uplifting. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I'm a mom too. I'm a wife too. Um, so that's kind of what I wanted to share today. So that is basically what all of our Scentsy oils are all about. Like I said, before I forget, you can get premium diffusers to diffuse these in. Okay, so these are more for my Art Deco people or just somebody who's like, ooh, that's pretty, like me. <laughs> or maybe you just want a statement piece of home decor as well that diffuses it. As you can tell, there's lots of different patterns, okay? Lots of different patterns. Um, if you're somebody that already owns the Scentsy uh, stand that has the actual diffuser, you can also... Um, either get the shade and the base for a certain price or um, you can just snag yourself the shade only as well for a uh, different price as well and like I said if you're anybody like me and maybe you're more of a parent or a human on a budget guess what I get it too or maybe you just like something not as out there maybe you're scared of it like tumbling and falling because guess what even my nine-year-old can you know knock stuff down um then the um the deluxe diffuser might be more your speed maybe it is more along your price bank too so anyways um so like i said the diffusers are sold separately as well as the um oils so the oils and the diffusers are actually sold separately um so it's all up to you what you want to do um, and what you want it to um, do for you and the kind of scent and you can switch it out It's great. It's awesome. Like I can't say enough good things about it. So I'm gonna run it's lunchtime It's kind of a delayed lunchtime in our household So I've got to go feed the fam jam because mom life doesn't stop you know So anyways, go have a spectacular one-of-a-kind kind of day um, I hope you enjoyed hearing all about the different Scentsy oils tomorrow. We're gonna be talking about something completely different um, so come stick around and um, come stick around and hang out and find out what we're going to talk about tomorrow. Thank you to each and every single one of you who have jumped online today and said, hey girl, hey. Um, whether it was just to find out about Scentsy Oils or whether it was just to be like, hang out and come see me, you know. <laughs> so anyways, we will chat again soon. In fact, we, you, me. We're going to talk again tomorrow, all right? So like I said, my name is Amanda Pope. I am your Scentsy Gal. If you have any questions, whether it is about the oils, whether it is about the uh, most amazing products, we are going to make sure that we have pinned this comment down below. That way, if you are looking to find, all you got to do is click on the link that's got the little pin, blue pin beside it. Go click on that. Go do some online shopping. Go learn about the product, okay? I am one of my own best customers at window shopping. <laughs> So anyways, um, and if you are finding that your wish list is getting big and long, um, I want you to stop and let me know because then I can set you up your own little shopping link 
and or we can you know and that way you can still reap the rewards of your um $265 purchase or more okay um if you have any questions about that or perhaps your wish list you're like eh, it's not my budget but my wish list is like this long um then hit me up and we can talk about what a sensi soiree would consist of and um see if we can earn you some free and half price things so anyways like i said my name is amanda pope you and me we're gonna see each other tomorrow all right till then have a fabulous day go make some memories and better yet let's hang out again tomorrow all right much love Bye.